Aging can be happy, fulfilling, and enjoyable if our seniors keep themselves healthy, active. Indeed, many of our seniors are already living active lifestyles. For example, more seniors are choosing to stay employed uh, with the labor force participation for those aged above 65, growing from 10.4% in 2004 to 22% in 2012. An active lifestyle keeps our seniors mentally engaged and adds a sense of purpose to their lives. We will continue to support our seniors in aging actively, and I'm happy to provide an update on our programs in response to Mr. Chen Shaoma, Mr. Yo Gua Kuang, Mr. Zander Sapari, and other members who have spoken on the subject. Uh, first, an update on the National Wellness Program. To promote health and wellness in seniors, the People's Association has rolled out the wellness program to all 87 constituencies in Singapore since 2012. Seniors can stay active, uh, physically active through activities such as brisk walking and socially connected through ground-up interest groups. So that would be an example of a ground-up interest group, and you can see that they are all having a great time. A 12-month impact study conducted last year in collaboration with the Duke and US validated that seniors benefited from the participation in the wellness program. Compared to the general senior population in Singapore, those seniors who participated regularly in the wellness program uh, became more physically active and socially connected. They increased the participation in physical activities by an extra 48 minutes per week um, compared to the general population, which reported an increase of 23 minutes a week. Wellness program participants also felt healthier and adopted more positive health behavior. They were also more likely to participate in health screening, which is a point emphasized by various members, and to follow up on any abnormal screening results. We are indeed making available more lifelong learning programs and opportunities for senior volunteerism and employability. By participating in these programs, seniors can stay mentally engaged and enjoy greater mental well-being. Seniors can also gain a greater sense of purpose and show that aging is a fulfilling process. And this will improve our overall societal mindset toward aging, which is a point that uh, members like Mr. Singh Han Tong, uh, Mr. Yo Guak Kuang also emphasized. We will continue to work through the Council for the Third Age, or C3A, to promote and support lifelong learning activities. The C3A collaborates with like-minded VWOs like YA, which stands for the Young at Heart Community College, and Fei Yue Community Services, to bring lifelong learning courses to the community. C3A itself also launched the Intergenerational Learning Program, or ILP, in 2011. The ILP pairs senior learners with student teachers in subjects such as information technology and photography. It bridges the intergenerational gap and promotes mutual understanding. A survey of 804 senior and youth participants on this program showed encouraging results. 97% of the youth said that the program improved their perception of the older generation, while 94% of the seniors on the course felt the same toward the younger participants. To date, 1,040 youth and 830 seniors have participated in and benefited from this program. We also want to help our seniors work longer if they can and want to. The C3A collaborates with employers, unions, and organizations such as the HPB to provide talks for mature workers. These talks are aimed at encouraging workers to adopt a positive mindset toward aging and to stay employed. It has reached out to uh, more than 900 mature workers since June of uh, 2013. Through so these talks, we hope to help our seniors plan better for their retirement and health care needs so that they can enjoy aging with the assurance that the financial needs are taken care of. We will also work on attracting seniors back into the workforce through various initiatives such as the Place and Train program mentioned earlier by SMS Dr. Amy Call. 